students today we are going to start your 12 topics my ultimate goal is to start your human reproductive system before starting the human reproductive system let's discuss some basic points the first point is what is reproduction what is the significance of reproduction this question is very basic and fundamental question you know what is reproduction the reproduction is the biological phenomena by which an organism produces its own type or kind an organism producing the members of its own type that is reproduction then what is the significance of reproduction or pituation of a species that is the maintenance or continuation of a species in the world or biosphere second it brings variation these are the two important points of sexual reproduction then you can say helpful in the evolution then you can say necessary for maintaining the population size and growth of population size now see this is all about your board in the board this type of question could be asked simply write down the answer what is reproduction and what is the significance but for need let's discuss reproduction in the point of view of need say can non living reproduce answer 
is no can every living member reproduce answer is no every living member cannot reproduce there are so many examples for example mule hemi infertile couple then is reproduction fundamental i'm sorry is reproduction defining feature of living your answer will we know then why it is not the defining feature because every living member cannot reproduce hence it cannot be considered as the defining feature so these three points important related to your reproduction now i am giving one question and this question is that which of the following is are the exclusive source of variation in sexual reproduction नीचे मैं आपको कुछ पॉइंट्स दू इनमें से आपको सेलेक्ट करना होगा कि कौन सिर्फ सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन में वेरिएशन लाएगा वन प्रॉसिंग ओवर another random movement of chromosome towards the poles third random fertilization of gametes fourth mutations you know crossing over a stage of crossing over packetin now what is random movement of chromosome towards the pole and what is random fertilization of gametes 
and what is mutation you know mutation it is the sudden change in the genetic material affecting both the genotype as well as phenotype and it transmits generation after generation into the progeny now what is this random movement of chromosome towards the pole suppose that we are taking two pairs of chromosome now the arrangement of homologous chromosome occurs at metaphase stage in meiosis there is metaphase first and metaphase second if the arrangement at metaphase 1 is like this there is another possibility of arrangement it is like this this type of arrangements having the equal chance 50% like this 50% like this now separates the chromosome one gamete receiving these two chromosomes another gamete receiving these two chromosomes now see four types of gametes out of two homologous pairs of chromosomes now the four types of gametes developing not due to the crossing over there is no involvement of crossing over merely it is the random movement of chromosome towards the pole this is also known as independent assortment that we will study in mendelian genetics so probably you got the point what is random movement of chromosome now random fertilization suppose four types of male gametes four types of female gametes 
each female gamete is having the equal chance of fusing with each of male gamete. It means 16 combinations are possible. That is the random fertilization. In sexual reproduction, variations due to crossing over, variations due to independent movement of chromosome towards the pole, variations due to random fertilization of gamete, mutation also responsible for the variation. Now, how many of these four are exclusively responsible for the variations in sexual reproduction? Your answer will be three. That is the first, second and third. Mutation cannot be included. Because mutation occurs also in asexually reproducing organism. So mutation cannot be considered as the exclusive source of variation for sexually reproducing organism. So this type of question might be asked in your Meet exam. Now see. Two types of reproduction. One asexual. Another sexual. What's the basic difference between the asexual and sexual reproduction? It is monoparental that is only one parent involves it is biparental or monoparental biparental or monoparental, both monoparental sexual reproduction. You can give a lot of examples. For example, self-pollinated plants like wheat. Tomato. These are monoparental. Now what about animals? In case of animal, monoparental sexual reproduction is very less. You might consider hermaphrodite animal. Try to understand. Hermaphrodite animals. Giving you some examples. A sponge edge. Earthworm. Leech. Planaria. Tapeworms, these are hermaphrodite, both the male and female gametes produce in the same member, same individual. Is there monoparental sexual reproduction in them? No, biparental cross-fertilization occurs 
but remember tapeworm. Hermaphrodite and monoparental. Only one tapeworm remains in the gut and it successfully carries out sexual reproduction. So remember this tapeworm showing the monoparental sexual reproduction but the sponges, earthworms, leech, planaria or dugesia they are hermaphrodite but cross fertilization occurs. Now any other point difference? Simple and rapid process. It is complex and slow process. Then suitable for favorable condition. Suitable for unfavorable condition. Now see, giving you one example. In most of the fungi, both the asexual and sexual reproduction occurs. But when the fungi reproduce sexually, is it during the favorable condition or is it during the unfavorable condition? Remember, it is during the unfavorable condition. They reproduce sexually during unfavorable condition. When the condition is favorable, they reproduce sexually. Now, any other differences? Members produced are identical, hence referred as clones. This term is important. What is clone? Genetically identical members are called clone. In this case, progeny are genetically different. These are the important basic differences between asexual and sexual reproduction. Now one question. Sexual reproduction is complex process even then higher organisms resorted to sexual reproduction why? 
this question is given in your NCRT and it might be asked in your board exam. What would be the answer? Sexual reproduction brings variation new traits introduced this increases the chance of survivability survivability ke chance ko badha deta hai members ka sexual reproduction kyunki isme variation aayega isliye higher organisms सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन करता है तो फिर एक क्वेश्चन क्रिएट हुआ एंड दैट क्वेश्चन इज और ऑल द मेंबर्स प्रोड्यूस्ड सेक्सुअली सुपेरियर जितने मेंबर्स बनेगा सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन से क्या सारे के सारे मेंबर सुपेरियर होगा आंसर इज नो बिकॉज सम मेंबर्स कुड बी inferior due to expression of harmful traits harmful trait ka expression agar ho gaya hai तो मेंबर्स इनफीरियर होगा इट मीन सारे के सारे मेंबर्स जो सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन में प्रोड्यूस होगा वो सुपेरियर नहीं होगा गिविंग यू एग्जाम्पल नॉर्मल स्किन कलर एलबिनो In albino, there is no production of melanin pigment. Allele A, allele A, A dominant over a small A. Now suppose male and female. Male is capital A small A, female is also capital A small A. Both are normal. now gamete sperms produced in male are two types similarly egg two types take this sperm fuse it with this egg ye a take this sperm fuse with this ye a Take this sperm, fuse with the egg, ye ye, and so on. Normal, but this is the expression of harmful traits. So this member is inferior. 
to these members and it is possible due to sexual reproduction. So all the members produced due to sexual reproduction can't be superior. Now, another question is asexual reproduction possible in human naturally kya naturally human me asexual reproduction possible hai your answer will be yes then how to bole identical twins are the natural clones produced asexually now explaining it briefly see this is your trust generally one egg one sperm fertilization zygote embryogenesis starts then there is separation of cells into two parts each giving embryo they are identical twins this is the sexual reproduction what about this this is asexual reproduction there is question in your ncert is natural clones possible in human your answer will be yes it is possible example identical twins are the natural clone 